What's going on everybody? In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to build your real estate investing dream team. So people on your real estate investing dream team would include real estate agents, other investors, hard money lenders, title companies, contractors, and, and actually there's probably you know maybe 10 or 15 other people that you can add to your real estate investing dream team. However, in this video, we're gonna cover the main, you know, the five main people that you need to have on your real estate investing dream team, and also how to find those people and how to build your team. So the first people that you should add to your real estate investing dream team would be real estate agents and wholesalers. Now the best strategy I've seen for building a, you know, building your dream team with real estate agents would be this. Uh, another investor in my area actually did this very successfully. He basically got a list of all the real estate agents that had done a deal within the last, I think it was like the last six months. And this was pretty much all the real estate agents within a radius of like 30 minutes from where he was. And after compiling the list, he, he, he basically started reaching out to them via email, phone, and text, basically saying that, hey, he's an investor, he's looking for deals, if you can find me great off-market deals or even uh, listed fixer upper properties, you can be the buyer's agent on the deal and then once the property is sold, you can be the listing agent. So you can get that full 6%. And so out of like the 500 or so agents that he reached out to, you know, there, there was really only, I think like 50, maybe like 10% that were actually uh, open to this, believe it or not, because just because most agents don't really work with investors. But there was about 10% that were open to this idea. And then out of that 10%, I think there was about, maybe about half, so about 25, agents that would routinely send him deals. But now he has a qualified list of you know real estate agents that are doing deals, have done deals, know what to look for in investment properties. He has 25 different agents that are basically scouring the city looking for deals for this guy. And then in addition to that, another tactic that I kind of, uh, um, I don't want to say stolen, but another idea I got from this guy was he builds a list of wholesalers. So from going to networking meetings, from from looking online for different wholesalers, you know, just going on like a website like LinkedIn, for example, typing in wholesaler and then going clicking on your city, you could probably find a list of like 25 or 50 wholesalers uh, in the real estate investment industry. And from just doing some uh, networking as well as some online research, he now has a list of uh, I think it's like 25 or even 30 wholesalers that he just emails once a month and, and pretty much checks in with them, see you know look for any deals that they may have, asks them what they have going on. And oftentimes, if you have a list of like 25 or 30 wholesalers, and you have a list of 25 or 30 real estate agents that are consistently uh, sending you deals, there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for you to uh, purchase fixer upper deals. Okay, so the next person you're gonna need on your real estate dream team would be hard money lenders. Now, every city is probably gonna have a minimum of five, and, and in some cases, maybe 20 or even 30 hard money lenders that are going to specialize in working with real estate investors. Now, the best place I've seen to find hard money lenders is really, uh, it's really gonna be a combination. So you should probably start online. You should probably start by, uh, you know, just typing in Google, hard money lender, and then insert your city. There's probably gonna be at least 10, maybe even 20 or 30 people that show up. Then what you wanna do is you want to go to networking events, real estate investing meetup, things like that, and start looking for those names because you, it's, it's much better when you have, instead of just finding one person online, it's much better if other people are using them, if you can get recommendations, if they're, you know, maybe you get to meet them in person and kind of see what they're all about. So with hard money lenders, you wanna look online, you wanna get referrals, you wanna to go to networking events and really see, uh, see who you connect with, uh, you know, who you get along with, who offers the best rates, things like that. And that goes for title companies as well. So when you're looking for an investor-friendly title company, often the best ways to find those are, are through networking groups and also referrals. And keep in mind that other investors, while they may not want to share like their private money resource or what marketing they're doing, oftentimes they're going to be very willing to give you what title companies they recommend. Just because in some cases they may even get uh, discounts at their title companies for referring enough people. So keep in mind, uh, ask other people for about the best title companies. And hard money lenders are actually the best people to ask about uh, other title companies because you know they, they do a ton of investor transactions, and you can bet that they've uh, vetted their title companies pretty pretty well to uh, send you know send deals their way. So ask ask other investors and ask hard money lenders about the best title companies. And the last one is contractors and th this could be a whole, you know, hour long video. But the best place to find contractors is, is number one, referrals. So ask other investors, uh, you know, as far as who they would recommend for contractors. They may not always give you that information, but a lot of times they'll give you a name or two that you can work with. The next place would be uh, networking. So when you go to real estate investing meetups, uh, meetup groups, various things like that, oftentimes there might be contractors that are going to be advertising their services, or there might be people that can give referrals, or in some cases there might be contractors there uh, that are just networking and looking to work with investors. And the third way to find a contractor would be 
be existing job sites. So sometimes if you're just driving around an area that you might be looking to purchase a property in, uh, you know, stop by the job site, ask the contractor uh, for their business card. You know, the, uh, unless the other investor is actually there, the contractor is going to have no issue whatsoever. You know, talking to you for a few minutes, telling them, telling you what they're all about, and, and also giving you their business card because they're always looking for the next job. So keep that in mind. All right, so there you have it: how to build your real estate investing dream team. And just to recap this video, number one with uh, real estate agents and wholesalers, you want to strategically be building lists that you can uh, stay in contact with. Uh, you don't you don't want to just have like one wholesaler or one real estate agent that's sending you deals. You want to have a whole team of them. Number two with hard money lenders, you want to look online, you want to go to networking groups, you want to get referrals. That's the best way to find them. And for title companies, you know, ask hard money lenders, ask different investors. They're not going to mind sharing this resource with you. So ask for referrals when it comes to uh, title investor friendly title companies. And then for contractors, you want to do a combination of referrals, uh, networking groups, and also look at existing job sites. So there you have it, how to build your real estate investing dream team. I hope you like this video. Please give me a like if you did, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.